Hello, it's another day. Welcome to downtown. We'll find news about all the biggest events happening here in South Africa. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And let's get started. In a tragic turn of event, Ahmed Abbas, the head of the Egypt of the Clivers in Gaza, lost his life on Thursday while on his way home from a prayer. His death has united a wave of condemnation and not only for the senseless act of violence but also for the broader context of ongoing conflict in the region. The African National Congress Agency has, uh, has officially condemned Abbas's killing, declaring that they died in the light of duty. Abbas, an educated humanitarian, had been actively involved in providing aid to the people of Palestine. His contributions were not merely a statistical figure, but represented a commitment to the pursuit of peace and justice in a troubled region. ANC spokesperson Mahalen Bengo Motsili emphasized this statement, stating that Abbas was more than just a casualty. He was part of a collective of individuals striving for a peaceful world. His death and the global efforts for the, for, the, uh, for the free Palestine are not in vain, she asserted. And of course, Ganif Hendricks, leader of Al Jama, also paid tribute to Abbas, expressing all of the circumstances surrounding his death. Hendricks pointed to the Israel government's weeks-long bombing of Gaza, holding them responsible for the ongoing violence in the region. He called for accountability for those perpetrating crimes in the Middle East, echoing the sentiment of many who believe that justice must be served. The conflict in Gaza, which has been ongoing for five weeks, has claimed the lives of thousands of individuals. The sheer scale of the tragedy has prompted South African President Cyril Ramaphosa to take a stand. He announced that South Africa has formally approached the, the International Criminal Court (ICC) to investigate the uh, to investigate the Israel of potential war crimes. This move reflects the commitment to seeking justice, uh, to, 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 to seeking justice on the global stage and holding those responsible for the violence accountable. The people of South Africa have not remained silent in the face of the unfolding crisis. Civil society and various political parties have taken to the streets in protest, demanding that the government sever ties with Israel. The call for diplomatic action resonates with a growing sentiment that international pressure is necessary to bring about change in the conflict riding region. The street echo with the voice of those who believe in the world where peace and justice prevail. Ahmed Abbas's tragic demise serves as the stark reminder of the human cost of conflict that seem distant to some but hit close to home for others. His dedication to the cause of humanitarians aid in Palestine reflect a broader global concerns for, 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 for the well-being of innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. And the ANC and, uh, and, and, and other leaders mourn his loss. They also emphasize the need for, 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 for collective response to end the suffering in the Middle East. Abbas in death becomes a symbol of countless individuals who have fallen victims to the cruelty and carelessness of conflict. His story resonates not only in South Africa but across borders mobilizing people to stand against, uh, against the injustices perpetrated in the name of war. The ANC's calls for peaceful war and humanity find a focal point in Abbas's letters, urging, what, urging, nationals, not, urging nations and individuals alike 
to work towards a future where violence is replaced by knowledge and understanding. And of course, the ongoing conflict in Gaza has stirred emotions global, prompting leaders and citizens alike to question the morality of the actions unfolding in the region. South African plea to ICC signifies a diplomatic approach to seeking justice and accountability. The hope is that international institutions will play a role in bringing an end to the cycle of violence and fostering an environment conducive to peace. The protests in South Africa calling for the severance of ties with Israel, highlighting the power of grassroots movement in shaping foreign policy, the people's voice uniting in its call for justice, has the potential to influence government uh, 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 government decisions and, uh, and uh, sometimes brings about meaningful change. As the global community grapples with the complexities of the Middle East conflict, individuals like Ahmed Abbas become symbols of resilience and hope, driving the pursuit of a better, more peaceful world. And now, thank you for watching. I invite you to watch news and other events here again. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I wish you a good day. Bye-bye.